All right. Uh, so um, we have just had uh, this evening uh, a magnitude 8.3 earthquake in Chile, in an area just north of Santiago de Chile, the capital. Uh, this is an earthquake in an area that experiences lots of earthquakes. It's a what we call a subduction zone earthquake. Uh, this earthquake occurred north, about 100, 200 kilometers from where we had the very large magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake back in 2010. And it occurred about 1,000 kilometers or 700 miles or so south of the earthquake that we had uh, back just a little over a year ago uh, in, in northern Chile, which was a magnitude 8.2. The tsunami from this particular event can take, uh, oh, I, I don't know, many tens of hours to cross the Pacific. So if you are in New Zealand, Tonga, Fiji, Japan, you'd be on watch for a while, or Hawaii, we know it's, uh, the, the current prediction is 3 a.m. local time in Hawaii, so about 6 a.m. here for the first possible arrival. It's not saying there's going to be one. Uh, but the bigger issue, I suppose, is, you know, one earthquake can be fought. This could be a foreshock. There's always that possibility. One in 10 earthquakes, are big earthquakes are actually foreshocks of a bigger earthquake. Um, and there can also be other processes, such as landslides, that may happen in a delayed, delayed fashion. So usually the wise thing is to uh, sort of uh, be vigilant for a while after one of these events. And of course, even a smaller aftershock, frequently we get aftershocks about an order of ma a magnitude unit smaller, so that's still a 7.3. That's still a very significant earthquake and can cause local tsunamis as well. Uh, so uh, people will be vig vigilant for, uh, for a while now. 8.3 is a large earthquake. It is a very large earthquake. And it is um, a very serious earthquake to those in the near field in Chile who are experiencing it. And one shouldn't forget about that. Uh, and the potential for damage is, is significant. Um, uh, as we saw in Japan, it may be induced, causes some sort of a domino effect and something else fails. So that's something you always have to be concerned with. So yes, this is a very big earthquake and a very important earthquake. It'll also be very important scientifically. But that's a, that's a story for further down the line. That's not something we're really concerned about right now.